What's up YouTube? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to automate your lead generation on LinkedIn. What's up guys? It's Ben Nader. If you do not know me by now, I am an entrepreneur. I run a recruiting agency. I also vlog every single day. So I guess I'm a daily YouTuber. I vlog about things like entrepreneurship, business, recruiting, finance, things like that. And if you like that kind of stuff, you should kindly smash that red subscribe button down below and thank me later. So today I'm going to be doing a way overdue video for this channel, which is how to automate lead generation for your recruiting agency on LinkedIn. Like this is some top tier stuff. Like this is going to save you hours, like if not weeks. So definitely watch this video from start to finish. In this specific video, I'm going to be showing you a tool that I think is super cool. Don't worry, they don't pay me for this or anything like that, but the tool is called Octopus. All right, so that's enough chit chat. Let's just hop right into my computer and take a look. All right, guys, so we are obviously inside my computer right now. We're on my LinkedIn page. We're on my basic um, premium page right now. Um, and then, of course, I have Sales Navigator set up here. So what I'm going to do is essentially demo you with Octopus. So um, this is the Google Chrome extension. This is sort of the home button for it that's going to show me like a, a bunch of stuff. Um, and this is kind of the CRM, but I'm going to go over that in a bit here. So um, first things first, um, Octopus gives you a seven day free trial. So basically you get all of their unlimited features for seven days and I told you already they don't pay me for any of this I'm just saying what's awesome and what's not so bottom line you get a seven day free trial of octopus um, which is super cool so um, after that the pricing is 40 bucks a month and honestly if you can't get a deal off of you know using automation for 40 bucks a month uh, I don't know what you're doing anyways but um, so here's how it works. All right, let's go through a full demo. Let's do this. So obviously we're going to look for, um, accounts, right? Because we're going to be looking for something along the lines of, oh, I don't know. Let's just say, um, we want, uh, let's say we want wealth management. I'm just going off the cuff here. I'm literally just deciding that I want to talk to wealth management firms so that I can staff for them. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to obviously go ahead and use my filters. Um, I'm going to use geography and I'm just going to use my location. I'm going to go to Seattle, Washington. Perfect. Okay. So I'm done with that. Um, I'm going to go to the industry. That's also important. Um, I'm going to go to financial services just to be specific. Um, and then company headcount. This is really important. And I know I haven't talked a lot about this, but company headcount is super important um, when you're searching. So um, I see here that the, the largest um, population is here. I'm going to pick these just because. I'm also going to pick these because they're easy to get connected with, you know, high level people. So I have these two company size headcounts. Uh, and then I am also going to go ahead and I'm just going to slap that one on there too. So cool. We've got good company headcount. Um, and then of course, seniority level, one of the most important pieces of, uh, figuring out, uh, you know, who you want to talk to with this type of automation. Okay. It is okay to pick the owner. All right. I'm going to say that outright when you're using automation. Um, it is also okay to go for C-suite. So I'm going to go to you know, COO, CEO, et cetera. Um, managers, not so much. Senior, uh, that could be way too vague. It could be senior this, senior that. Definitely none of the, the below. Um, but let me go ahead and just do like uh, VP. I'll do VP. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with that list right there. That looks good. Um, and then of course, we don't need function title or tags. We're good. So I have 124 results, right? So remember, I'm looking just in Seattle. Um, I am looking uh, for financial services. 
Uh, I mean, I could add to that um, investment management if I wanted to. Um, but let me just keep it there. Let me just add investment banking. Okay, cool. All that's going to do is, is raise my number here a little bit of, of results. So anyways, so here's how things work, okay, um, with, with all this. So essentially, once I've got this list of 167 um, decision makers, regional operations director, VP, um, senior VP, right, VP, treasury management, board members, senior VP. Okay, cool. We've got some, some top-notch people. Now, it's imperative that you stay on this page while you do this. So what's going to happen is I'm going to go to my Octopus Google Chrome extension, right? So I'm ready to automate some lead gen and go to sleep um, while this does my work for me. So while I'm on this page, of course, I am going to first select the action. What do I want to do? I want to connect. That's, that's all I want to do right now. I don't want to send out messages. I don't want to do anything else. So this is all of what Octopus can do, but I'm not doing any of that. Uh, default campaign. These are campaigns you can create that can send multiple emails and, and connections and follow-up connections and follow-up messages and stuff. But anyways, um, there's something that's really, really cool uh, about um, Octopus. It has its own CRM. So what happens here is I'm, I'm going to be sending these to a CRM within Octopus. So it's super, super cool like that. Um, the other thing about it is that, like, for those of you that are, like, really super scared about, like, you know, oh, my gosh, is my account going to get shut down if I, like, overload this thing or whatever? Check this out. I have 167 results. This defaults to a level that it that it believes is perfectly safe for you to send. Not only that, but there, there's two things about this. One, Octopus gives you that estimated number that you should connect with. Number two, Octopus has done like a bazillion tests already to find out their limits on you know what the safe what the what the safeguard is, right? So they, they they're they're all over it. So anyways, I'm going to send this entire page uh, to the CRM in Octopus. So hold on for a minute. This takes a second. No big deal. Okay. And I've sent them to the CRM. That's it. Now I'm going to go to my CRM in Octopus. Well done, Benjamin. 100 out of 100 profiles you've requested have been transferred to you the campaign. Okay. Perfect. So um, don't worry about this. This just gives you some stats about your profile and some social selling data etc. Um, but long story short, here is where my contacts are stored. So they're under connect. So these are the people that I just um, imported into the CRM. So what's super cool about this is basically what I need to do now is essentially choose how many users I want to connect with. And for me, I'm going to just literally go ahead and connect with all one hundred of them. Perfect. No big deal. Um, and I'm going to click them all. And that's that. Now, here comes the fun part. So I get to personalize a note to these people. So this is where like the crazy, like long hours or even weeks that takes you to do one by ones all goes out the door. Um, simply because you're using Octopus, right? So you can use a few of these functions, right? It, it allows you to put first name in, last name, position, company, etc. cetera. Um, you can use all those things. So I put, hi, first name, I'm Ben, the founder of Seattle Search Solutions. I noticed your profile and I thought I would connect about any potential hiring needs now or in the near term. We're offering a 10% direct hire fee currently, are you available next week to chat? And did I put my name? Ben, boom, okay. Let me personalize that. All right, perfect. So I'm good to go. The button next to press is launch. Boom, go. So now what Octopus is doing is it's actually processing all of these profiles. And as you can see this little timer, it has its own safety mechanism. So it's not gonna process all these at once. 
it knows LinkedIn has these these fraud filters and things like that. We're not doing fraud, right? We're just using a simple automation tool, but it still takes precautions. So what it does is it basically processes these one by one. It looks like about every 15 or 20 seconds it'll process somebody. At any point, you can stop this if you would like, at any point, for whatever reason. Um, you wouldn't want to, you don't need to, there is no reason to, but you could. But anyways, so it's going to do its thing. While it does that, I cannot do anything. It's basically going to be importing, or I'm sorry, connecting and sending this note to all of these people, and it's going to show me the progress right down here, so I can view that here. So, yeah. It's going to show me exactly who's been processed and all that. And later on, I can even extract these people to a CSV file, forward them to uh, another CRM like HubSpot or something like that because, you know, you don't want to run your entire business out of a, a LinkedIn automation tool CRM, right? But anyways, um, so that's that. Like, bottom line, you can literally set up a list of people to connect with and leave notes with, which is basically the same thing as messaging them and go to sleep while they get connected with and pretty much wake up to like a billion responses from these people that are like high level decision makers with your note. Like, like this person is going to get my note, like the VP uh, and financial advisor, whatever, Jason, he's going to get to my note. Um, the VP of wealth management, the managing director, like blah, blah, blah. All these people are going to get this stuff. So it's super, super cool. Um, and, you know, hopefully, right, it, it, you know, based on ratios and things, right, if I'm sending out 100 of these and I just go with like a conservative 3% or something like that, if I have three responses and I start three good conversations, let's say I get two people to talk to me like, you know, in a real conversation, one of them actually wants to do business. That's a huge win. And I, you saw how long it took me to do this. Like I literally just found this list, used my filters, picked octopus, you know, sent my messages. We're done. That's it. Super cool. So that's, that's pretty much it. Um, and uh, yeah, so you can go back to doing your business. You can do whatever. Um, you can, you know, do more searches for whatever you want to search for, you know, finance, recruiter, or whatever. You, I mean, like, I have this random stuff. You could search for, you know, all your stuff and you can do your emailing and, and all that stuff. Let me show you something else. Um, Google Chrome, Chrome Automation tools or I'm sorry Let's see so here's the deal there's a lot of these so for instance right you know if you were to go to um well, I guess we can just go to guys I'm doing this on the fly so bear with me um let's see here um chrome's Good. So if I'm going to go to the Chrome store, right, and I'm going to look for like LinkedIn automation, okay, here's the deal. There's a billion of these, okay. Octopus is highly rated. It's like number one um, on their list. There's also Duck Soup, okay. There's things called uh, Linked Assist. There's another one called uh, Linked Helper. Um, there's a whole ton more of these. There's like a billion prospect in, um, basically these are all copies of the same exact thing. However, I will tell you, um, I have yet to see one of these that has a CRM within it and that doesn't just reach out and connect and that's it. So like some, some like octopus is some top tier stuff here. So, like, take that, you know, as you will. Um, that's why I'm showing it to you, right? I'm not showing you a different one. We all know about duck soup. We all know about other ones. But that's why I wanted to show you this one. So, anyways, guys, that's what's happening right now. So, what's going on is I'm literally getting all of these people connected um, to me. I'm not going to uh, go to that one. 
Um, and I'm at 12%, right? So th this will probably take about an hour, Kim, okay? so uh, to connect with all these people, um, leave the note and all that stuff. And then, you know, when I go back into my LinkedIn, et cetera, right? I'll be able to go in and essentially see who's connected back with me, who's contacted me back and all that stuff in my message box because obviously I'll send them a message and they'll get back to me. So anyways, um, that's it guys. Um, Octopus is doing all the work and I can pretty much go to sleep, wake up and see like three, four, five, six leads. I, I don't know. Who knows? It could be all hundred. I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to hop out and I will see you on the other side. All right, guys. So welcome back to the real world. And how cool was that? So we literally just picked a hundred decision makers like top echelon people that I'm connecting with right now. It's going to take about an hour. I could literally go do whatever, do other business, do, you know, reach outs, do um, conversations with candidates. I could do whatever else while this workload is being done for me. Super, super cool. I'm going to be seeing the results as I proceed using Octopus and I'll keep you updated on what's going on. But I think it's super, super awesome. And if you do too, definitely smash that like button. Um, and in general, if you enjoy this video, smash that like button again, hit subscribe and the alert button so you know every single time I come out with a new video. And until then.